Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing my products I regret buying and I do have a decent amount. They're like all drugstore products though, so I'm just kind of like going to tell you what is good. Like I'm not telling you what's good in this video, but I'm telling you what's not good. So yeah, I'm going to actually start with makeup products and then I have some hair products too that I regret buying. So let's just get started. Okay, so the first product that I have is the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Glow Shears and it's a nat for natural radiant look. It looks like this. It's in the color light 25 and I just don't like this at all. I never found myself using it and I don't like the texture. It like makes your, oh I just put a bunch out but I could try to show you. Ew, I just hate the texture of it. And it makes your skin look really like oily or something. Ew. And it's like not my color. I don't know. I really, really don't like this at all. I've never used it. I used it on my friend once because she's a little darker than me. But it didn't even look good on her. So yeah, I really don't like this product at all. Okay, so the next thing is this e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set. This is what the bottle looks like. And I hate this. I've used it a few times and I absolutely hated it. It feels like they just put water in a bottle. Like that's it. It really doesn't even feel like it does anything. And I just dropped it. <laughs> but it says it has aloe, green tea, cucumber, and vitamins A, C, and E. No, I don't like it at all. It makes my skin feel really like slimy too. Like after I like set my like set it. And it doesn't spray out good at all. It sprays out in like little bursts. So it doesn't like go spray everywhere. Like, I don't know if I should show you it. Like, <laughs> that scared me. It smells weird. <laughs> but I really don't like this at all. Okay, so the next thing is this Ooh La La Blush. I don't know if you've ever heard of the brand, but I got it at Rite Aid. And it looks like this. I just liked it because it had like this purple shimmer on the outside. But like, I really don't like this blush. I don't like the color. It's so light. It almost looks white. Like you can't even see it. It's just, it's not even like really a blush. And it smells really, really bad. So I don't suggest this ooh la la blush. Oh, it's in the color Pink Panther, by the way. Yeah, I really don't like this blush at all. So next I have two mascaras. And this one is the... Maybelline New York Great Lash and it's in very black and it's the waterproof version. Yeah, I don't like this at all. I don't like the brush. It's like, it's like a bristle. It's not plastic. I just, I don't like the brush at all. And it's too small and I don't like the formula of it. And it smells really weird too. But yeah, I don't like this mascara. And the other mascara is the Revlon Double Twist Waterproof Mascara. I hate the brush on this. I thought I would like it, but I hate it. It's huge. And it's really weird and like twisted. And I can never get it out of the thing because it's so big. And the formula is so clumpy and it's just nasty. It's very nasty. I don't like this mascara. I really regret buying it. And then I have these two eyebrow pencils. They're the Wet n Wild eyebrow pencils. They don't say what color they're in. But on the packaging it said like soft brown. And it's not soft brown. This is very dark. Like. That's way too dark for my eyebrows. It just looks really bad on my eyebrows. It comes with this thing on the, end, the one end. And then the other end has the pencil. And it's just way too dark. And it looks really bad on my eyebrows. And. I do not like these eyebrow pencils at all. They're way too dark. So next I have these two eyeshadows. And they're two CoverGirl single eyeshadows. I don't like the CoverGirl single eyeshadows. Their color payoff is like really bad. Like that's the white one. And it barely even shows up. And it's just not really that pretty. I don't know. This is the white one. I'm not sure what color it's in because it doesn't say. But I don't like the single eyeshadows by CoverGirl at all. And this one doesn't say the color either. But it's like a navy blue. Yeah. That's it. It really doesn't show up at all. Like that's one swipe. This one. It's, yeah. It's just not pigmented and it's really, like, it's hard to blend. And I just don't like the CoverGirl Single Eyeshadows. 
Okay, so the first lip product that I regret buying is this e.l.f. Super Glossy Lip Shine in the color Angel. And I don't like this because it's not that it's like too sticky. I just don't like it because it's so shimmery. Like it's way, way too shimmery for me. And I never find myself using it because it just makes me look like my lips are like glittery. I don't even know, but I don't like this at all. Maybe if I get another color, I would like it, but I just don't like this one. And then I have the Revlon Just Bitten Lip Stain Plus Balm. And this is in the color Passion, and it's like the brightest pink ever. That's what it looks like. It kind of looks like my shirt. Maybe not. Um, and this is the lip balm side. And then this is the actual stain part side. It's like a marker. And this stings my lips. Like, it hurts to wear this. Like, I tried wearing it a few times, and it hurts my lips. Like, I don't like this at all. I never use it because it, it does. It really hurts. So it like stings. I don't know if I'm allergic to something in it, but I just don't like this at all. So now I have three hair products that I regret buying. The first one is this LA Looks Absolute Styling Polish Perfect anti frizz Shine Gel. This is what it looks like. It's like purple and has like those little bubbles in it. But yeah, I really don't like this gel at all. It makes my hair really sticky. I don't know why I ever thought I would like it. I have like three bottles of this. The ones clear and it's wet look, one's blue and it's the sport one, and then I have a yellow one too and it's like just the normal one. And I don't like these at all. I, I've used it like once and I hated it so I'll never use this again I really regret buying it. And then I have the Garnier for Tea Style Curl Shaping Cream Gel for Bouncy Curls Frizz Control and it's the extra strong one. I hate this. It doesn't curl my hair at all. I don't know why it says curl sculpting cream gel because it doesn't curl your hair at all. Like whenever I scrunch my hair and I try to use this, it just makes my hair so flat and disgusting and like sticky and I absolutely hate this gel. And then the last thing may come as a surprise to some of you because I've heard a lot of good things about it. That's why I bought it but I hated it so much and it's the Tresemme Fresh Start Dry Shampoo for oily straight to normal hair. I hate this dry shampoo. It smells weird. I don't know. It smells like fresh, but it kind of smells like a dollar store. I don't know why a dollar store. It just smells bad. And it's for oily, straight to normal hair. And it just says waterless oil and odor remover with mineral clay and citrus. Professional quality. No, this sucks. It's not professional quality, I don't think at all. I really, really don't like this dry shampoo. It made my hair even more oily. And like, it's not like my hair was even that oily to begin with, but it made it really, really oily and just gross. And it like caked up and it was just nasty. Oh, I hate this dry shampoo. I don't know if it's just my hair type, but it may work for some hair types because like I've seen people that really love it. But I hate it. Ugh. So that was all of my products I regret buying. And I just wanted to show you guys this just to give you some advice on some products that are not good at all. But some of them had a lot of hype and they just didn't work out for me. So it's kind of like a don't believe the hype video too. But yeah, that was it for my products I regret buying. So just to remind you guys about my 200 subscriber thing. I'll either do a makeup collection or a nail polish collection, which I've mentioned in my other videos. And I'm getting pretty close to being there so in the comments below put which one you'd rather see makeup or nails and I'll definitely do that so I just want to know more opinions on what you'd rather see so thank you guys so much for watching and have a great day bye